good wishes to all of you indian polity from m lakshmi kant sir the fifth topic of this book was union and its territory articles 1 to 4 under part 1 of the constitution deal with the union and its territory union of states article 1 describes india that is bharat as a union of states rather than a federation of states this provision deals with the two things one name of the country and two type of polity there was no unanimity in the constituent assembly with regard to the name of the country some members suggested the traditional name bharat while other advocated the modern name india hence the constituent assembly had to adopt a mix of both india that is bharat secondly the country is described as union although its constitution is federal in structure according to dr b r ambedkar the phrase union of states has ambedkar according to dr ambedkar the phrase union of states has been preferred to federation of states for two reasons one the indian federation is not the result of an agreement among the states like the america federation and two the states have no right to secede from the freed the federation the federation is an union because it is indestructible the con- the country is an integral whole and divided into different states only for the convenience of administration according to article 1 the territory of india can be classified into three categories territories of the state union territories territories that may be acquired by the government of india at any time the names of states and union territories and their territorial extent are mentioned in the first schedule of the constitution at present there are 28 states and 9 union territories the provisions of the constitution pertaining to the states are applicable to all the states in the same manner however the fish the special provisions and a part 21 applicable to the state of maharashtra gujarat nagaland assam manipur andhra pradesh telangana sikkim mizoram arunachal pradesh goa and karnataka override the general provisions relating to the states as a class further the fifth and sixth schedules contain separate provisions with respect to the administration of schedule areas and tribal areas within the states notably the territory of india is a wider expression than the union of india because the latter includes only states while the former includes not only the states but also union territories and territories that may be acquired by the government of india at any future time the state are the members of the federal system and share a distribution of powers with the center the union territories and the acquired territories on the other hand are directly administered by the central government being a sovereign state india can acquire foreign territories according to the modes recognized by international law that is session following treaty purchase gift lease or plebiscite occupation hetero or unoccupied by a re recognized ruler conquest or subjugation for example india acquired several foreign territories such as dadra and nagar haveli goa daman and diu puducherry and sikkim since the commencement of the constitution the acquisition of these territories are discussed later in this chapter article 2 empowers the parliament to admit into the union of india or establish new states on such terms and conditions as it thinks fit thus article 2 grants to powers to the parliament the power to admit into the union of india new states and the power to establish new states the first refers to refers to the admission of states which are already in existence while the second refers to the establishment of states which were not in existence before notably article 2 relates to the admission or establishment of new states that are not part of the union of india 
Article 3 on the other hand relates to the formation of or changes in the existing states of the Union of India. In other words, Article 3 deals with the internal readjustment inter interests of the territories of the constant states of the Union of India. Parliament's power to reorganize the states. Article 3 authorizes the parliament to a form a new state by separation of territory from any state or by unit uniting two or more states or parts of states or by uniting and territory to a part of any state b increase the area of any state c dimension the area of any state d alter the boundaries of any state and e alter the name of any state However, Article 3 lays down two conditions in this regard. One, a bill complete contemplating the above changes can be introduced in the Parliament only with the prior recommendation of the President and two, before recommending the bill. The President has to refer the same to the state's legislature consent for expressing its view its views within a specified period. Further, the power of parliament to form new states includes the power to form a new states or union territory by uniting a part of any state or union territory to any other state or union territory. The president or parliament is not bound by the views of the state legislature and may either accept or reject them. Even if the views are received in time, further it is not necessary to make a fresh reference to the state legislature every time an amendment to be to the bill is moved and accepted in parliament. In case of a union territory, no reference need be made to the constant legislature to ascertain its views and the parliament can itself take any action as it did deems fit. It is thus clear that the constitution authorizes the parliament to form new states or alter the area, boundaries or names of the existing states without their consent. In other words, the parliament can read through the political map of India according to its will. Hence, the territorial integrity or continued existence of any state is not guaranteed by the constitution. Therefore, India is rightly described as an indestructible union of whom disturbed states the union government can destroy the states whereas the state governments cannot destroy the union in uic on the other hand the territorial integrity or continued existence of a state is guaranteed by the constitution the american federal government cannot form new states or alter the borders of existing states without the consent of the states concerned that is why the USC is described as an indestructible unit of indestructible states. Moreover, the Constitution Article 4 itself declares that a laws made for admission or establishment of new states under Article 2 and formation of new states and alteration of areas, boundaries or names of existing states under Article 3 are not to be considered as amendments of the constitution under article 368 this means that such laws can be passed by a simple majority and by the ordinary legislative process does the power of parliament to dimension the areas of a state under article 3 include also the power to cede indian territory to a foreign country this question came up for examination before the supreme court in a reference made by the president in 1960 the decision of the central government to set a part of the of a territory known as Berubari Union West Bengal to Pakistan led to political agitation and controversy and thereby necessitated the presidential reference. The Supreme Court held that the power of parliament to dimension the area of a state under Article 3 does not cover cession of Indian territory to a foreign country. Hence, Indian territory can be ceded to a foreign state only by amending the constitution under article 368 consequently the 
Ninth Constitutional Amendment Act 1960 was enacted to transfer the said territory to Pakistan. On the other hand, the Supreme Court in 1969 ruled that settlement of a boundary dis- dispute between India and another country does not require a constitutional amendment. It can be done by executive action as it's, it does not involve cession of Indian territory to a foreign country. Exchange of Territories with Bangladesh The 100th Constitutional Amendment Act 2015 was enacted to give effect to the acquiring of certain territories by India and transfer of certain other territories to Bangladesh in pursuance of the agreement and its protocol entered into between the governments of India and Bangladesh. Under this deal, India transferred three, sorry, one level enclaves to Bangladesh while Bangladesh transferred enclaves to India. In addition, the deal also involved the transfer of adverse positions and the demarcation of a 6.1 km undemocrated border stretch. For these three purposes, the amendment modified the provisions relating to the territories of four states, Assam, West Bengal, Meghalaya and Tripura. In the first schedule of the constitution, the background of this amendment is as follows. India and Bangladesh have a common land boundary of approximately 4096.7 land boundary of uh, 0.7 kilometers. The India East Pakistan land boundary was determined as per the Red Cliff Award of 1947. Disputes arose out of some provisions in the Red Cliff Award which was sought to be resolved through the Baggy Award of 1950. Another effort was made to settle these disputes by the Nehru Noon Agreement of 1958. However, the issue relating to division of Berberi Union was challenged before the Supreme Court to comply with the opinion rendered by the Supreme Court. The Constitution 9th Amendment Act 1960 was passed by the Parliament. Due to the continuous litigation and other political developments at that time, the Constitution 9th Amendment Act 1960 could not be notified in respect of territories in former East Pakistan, presently Bangladesh. On May 16, 1974, the agreement between India and Bangladesh concerning the demarcation of the land boundary and related matters was signed between both the countries to find a solution to the complex nature of the border democracy democracy involved. This agreement was not rectified as it involved inter alia transfer of territory which requires a constitutional amendment. In this connection, it was also required to identify the precise area on the ground which would be transferred. Subsequently, the issues relating to demarcation of undemocratic boundary, the territories in adverse positions and exchange of enclaves were identified and resolved by signing a Protocol on September 6, 2011, which forms an integral part of the land boundary agreement between India and Bangladesh 1974. The protocol was prepared with support and concordance of the concerned state governments of Assam, Meghalaya, Tripura, and West Bengal. Evolution of States and Union Territories Integration of Princely States at the time of independence, India comprised two categories of political units, namely the British provisions under the direct rule of British government and the princely states under the rule of native princes by subject to the paramountcy of the British crown. The India Independence Act 1947 created two independent and separate dominions of India and Pakistan and gave three options to the princely states with joining India, joining Pakistan or remaining independent of the 552 princely states situated within the geographical boundaries of India. 549 joined India and the remaining three, Hyderabad, Junagar and Kashmir refused to join India. However, in course of time, they were also integrated with India, Hyderabad by means of police action. Junagar by means of referendum and Kashmir by the instrument of accession. In 1950, the constitution contained a fourfold classification of the states and B and Part C states and Part D territories. In all, they numbered 29 Part E states 
comprised nine s12 governors provinces of british india part b states consisted of nine s12 princely states with the legislators part c states consisted of s12 chief commissioners provisions of british india and some of the s12 princely states these part c states in all 10 in number were centrally administered the andaman and nicobar islands were kept as the solitary part d territories dar commission and jvp committee the integration of princely states with the rest of india has purely an ad hoc arrangement there has been a demand from different regions particularly south india for reorganization of states on linguistic basis accordingly in june 1948 the government of india appointed the linguistic provisions commission under the chairmanship of sk dhar to examine the feasibility of this the commission submitted its report in december 1948 and recommended the reorganization of states on the basis of administrative convenience rather than linguistic factor this created much resentment and led to the appointment of another linguistic provisions committee by the congress in december 1948 itself to examine the old question afresh it consisted of jawaharlal nehru vallabhai patel and pattabi sitaramayya and hence was popularly known as jvp committee it submitted its report in april 1949 and formally rejected language as the basis for reorganization of states however in other 1953 the government of india was forced to create the first linguistic state known as andhra state by separating the telugu speaking areas from the madras state this followed a prolonged popular agitation and the death of potti sri ramulu a congress person of standing after a 56 day hunger strike for the cause territory of india in 1950 states in part a states in part b states in part c territories in part a assam states in part a assam bihar bombay madhya pradesh madras odisha punjab united provinces west bengal states in part b hyderabad jammu and kashmir madhya bharat mysore patiala and east punjab rajasthan saurashtra Travancore, Cochin, Vidya Pradesh, Vindya Pradesh, states in Part C: Azmir, Bhopal, Bilaspur, Kutch, Bihar, Kork, Delhi, Himachal Pradesh, Kutch, Manipur, Tripura. Territories in Part D: Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Original parts of the Constitution dealing with states and territories. Original heading. Parts original heading. Article covered. Fourth part. sorry sixth part the states in part a of the first schedule 152 to 237 articles covered and part 7 the state in part b of the first schedule 238 and part a the state in part c of the first schedule 239 to 242 and part 9 the territories in part d of the first schedule and other territories not specified in the schedule 243 Fazil Ali Commission the creation of Andhra state intensified the demand from the other regions for creation of states on linguistic basis this forced the government of india to appoint in december 1953 a three member state re- reorganization commission under the chairmanship of fazil ali to reexamine the old question its other two members were k m panikkar and h n kunzur it submitted its report in september 1955 and broadly accepted language as the basis of reorganization of states but it rejected the theory of one language one state its view was that the unit unity of india should be regarded as the primary consideration in any redrawing of the country's political units it identified four major factors that can be taken into account in any scheme of reorganization of states preservation and strengthening of the unity and security of the country linguistic and cultural homogeneity 
financial economic and administrative consideration planning and promotion of the welfare of the people in each state as well as of the nation as a whole territory of india in 1956 states andhra pradesh assam bihar bombay jammu and kashmir kerala madhya pradesh madras mysore odisha punjab rajasthan uttar pradesh west bengal union territories andaman and nicobar islands delhi himachal pradesh lakhadweep minikoy and amindivi islands uh, manipur tripura the commission suggested the abolition of the four fold classification of states and territories under the original constitution and creation of 16 states and three centrally administered territories the government of india accepted accepted these recommendations with certain minor modifications by the states reorganization act 1956 and the seventh constitutional amendment act 1956 the distinction between part a and part b states was done away with the part c states were abolished some of them were merged with adjacent states and some other some other were designated as union territories as a result 14 states and 6 union territories went created on november 1st 1956 The States Reorganization Act 1956 established the new state of Kerala by merging the Travancore Cochin state with the Malabar district of Madras state and Kasaragod of South Kannada Dakshina Kannada it merged the Telugu speaking areas of Hyderabad state with the Andhra state to create the Andhra Pradesh state further it merged the Madhya Bharat state Vindhya Pradesh state and bopal state into the madhya pradesh state similarly it merged the saurashtra state and kutch state into the in that into that of the bombay state the kurk state into that of mysore state the patiala and east punjab states union tepsu into that of punjab state and the azmir state into that of rajasthan state moreover it created the new union territory of lakhadweep minikoy and amindvi islands from the territory detached from the madras state new states and union territories created after 1956 even after the large scale reorganization of the states in 1956 the political map of india underwent continuous changes due to the pressure of popular agitations and political conditions the demand for the settlement of some more states on the basis of language or cultural homogeneity resulted in the bifurcation of existing states maharashtra and gujarat in 1960 the bilingual state of bombay was divided into two separate states maharashtra for marathi speaking people and gujarat for gujarati speaking people gujarat was established as the 15th state of the indian union dadra nagar haveli the portuguese ruled this territory until its liberation in 1954 Subsequently the administration was carried on till 1961 by an administrator chosen by the people themselves it was converted into a union territory of india by the 10th constitutional amendment act 1961 goa daman and diu india acquired these three territories from the portuguese by means of a police action in 1961 they were constituted as a union territory by the 12th constitutional amendment act 1962 later in 1987 goa was conferred a statehood consequently daman and diu was made a separate union territory puducherry the ter- territory of puducherry comprises the former english sorry french establishments in india known as puducherry karaikal mahe and yanam The French handed over this territory to India in 1954. Subsequently, it was administered as an acquired territory till 1962 when it was made a union territory by the 14th Constitutional Amendment Act. Nagaland. In 1963, the state of Nagaland was formed by taking the Naga Hills and Tuangsang area out of the state of Assam. This was done to satisfy the movement of the hostile Nagas. However, before giving Nagaland the status of the 16th state of the 
Indian Union, it was placed under the control of Governor of Assam in 1961. Haryana, Chandigarh and Himachal Pradesh. In 1966, the state of Punjab was bifurcated to create Haryana, the 17th state of the Indian Union and the Union Territory of Chandigarh. This followed the demand for a separate Sikh homeland. Punjabi Subha, raised by the Akhali Dhal under the leadership of Master Thara Singh on the recommendation of the Shah Commission 1966. The Punjabi speaking areas were constituted into the unilingual state of unilingual state of Punjab. The Hindi speaking areas were constituted into the state of Haryana and the hills areas were merged with the adjoining Union Territory of Himachal Pradesh. In 1971, the Union Territory of Himachal Pradesh was elevated to the status of a state, 18th state of the Indian Union. Manipur, Tripura and Meghalaya. In 1972, the political map of Northeast India underwent a major change. Thus, the two Union Territories of Manipur and Tripura and the Substate of Meghalaya got statehood and the two union territories of Mizoram and Arunachal Pradesh, originally known as Northeast Frontier Agency NEFA, came into being. With this, the number of states of the Indian Union increased to 21, Manipur 19th, Tripura 20th, and Meghalaya 21st. In TLA and 22nd Constitu Constitutional Amendment Act 1969 created Meghalaya as an autonomous state or substate within the state of Assam with its own legislature and council of ministers. However, this did not satisfy the aspirations of the people of Meghalaya. The union territories of Mizoram and Arunachal Pradesh were also formed out of the territories of Assam. Sikkim. Till 1947, Sikkim was an Indian princely state ruled by Chogyal. In 1947, after the lapse of British Paramo Paramountcy, Sikkim became a protectorate of India whereby the Indian government assumed responsibility for the defense, external affairs and communications of Sikkim. In affairs and communications of Sikkim, in 1974 Sikkim expressed its desire for greater association with India. Accordingly, the 35th Constitutional Amendment Act 1974 was enacted by the Parliament. This amendment introduced a new class of statehood under the constitution by conferring on Sikkim the status of an associate state of the Indian Union. For this purpose, a new Article 2A and a new Schedule 10 schedule containing the terms and conditions of association were inserted in the constitution. This experiment, however, did not last long as it could not, uh, it could not fully satisfy the aspirations of the people of Sikkim. In a referendum held in 1975, they voted for the abolition of the institution of Chogya, Chogyal and Sikkim becoming an integral part of India. Consequently, the 36th Constitutional Amendment Act 1975 was enacted to make Sikkim a full-fledged state of the Indian Union, the 22nd state. This amendment amended the first and the fourth schedules to the constitution and added a new article 371F to provide for certain special provisions with respect to the administration of Sikkim. It also repealed article 2A and the 10th schedule that were added by the 35th amendment act of 1974, Mizoram, Arunachal Pradesh and Goa. In 1987, three new states of Mizoram, 14 Arunachal Pradesh, 15 and Goa, 16 came into being as the 23rd, 24th and 25th states of the Indian Union respectively. The Union territory of Mizoram was conferred the status of a full state as a sequel to the si signing of a memorandum of settlement, Mizoram Peace Accord to accord in 1986 between the central government and the Mizo 
National Front, ending the two-decade old insur- insurgency. Arunachal Pradesh has also been a union territory from 1972. The state of Goa was created by separating the territory of Goa from the union territory of Goa, Daman and Yu. Chhattisgarh, Uttarakhand and Jharkhand. In 2000, three more new states of Chhattisgarh, Uttarakhand and Jharkhand was, were created out of the territories of Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. Respectively, these became the 26th, 27th and 28th states of the Indian Union respectively. Telangana In 2014, the new state of Telangana came into existence as the 29th state of the Indian Union. It was carried out of the territories of Andhra Pradesh. The Andhra State Act 1953 formed the first linguistic state of India known as the state of Andhra. By taking out the Telugu speaking areas from the state of Madras, now Tamil Nadu, Karnool was the capital of Andhra state and the state high court was established at Guntur. The state's reorganization act 1956 merged the Telugu speaking areas of Hyderabad state with the Andhra, Andhra state to create the enlarged Andhra Pradesh state. The capital of the state was shifted to Hyderabad. Again, the Andhra Pradesh Reorganization Act 2014 bifurcated the Andhra Pradesh into two separate states, namely the Andhra Pradesh Residuary and the Telangana. Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh till 2019 The erstwhile state of Jammu and Kashmir has had its own constitution and thus enjoyed a special status by virtue of Article 370 of the Constitution of India. In 2019, this special status was abolished by a presidential order known as the Constitution, Constitution Application of Jammu and Kashmir Order 2019. This order superseded the earlier order known as the Constitution Application to Jammu and Kashmir. Order 1954, the 2019 order extended all the provisions of the Constitution of India to Jammu and Kashmir also. However, the in- inoperative Article 370 continued to remain in the text of the Constitution of India. Further, the Jammu and Kashmir Reorganization Act 2019 bifurcated the erstwhile state of Jammu and Kashmir into two separate union territories, namely the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir and the Union Territory of Ladakh. The Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir comprises all the districts of the erstwhile state of Jammu and Kashmir except the Kargil and Leh districts which have gone to the Union Territory of Ladakh. Thus, the number of states and union territories increased from 14 and 6 in 1956 to 28 and 9 in 2019 respectively. Change of names. The names of some states and union territories have also been changed. The United Provisions was the first state to have a new name. It was renamed Uttar Pradesh in 1950. In 1969, Madras was renamed Tamil Nadu. Similarly, in 1973, Mysore was renamed Karnataka. In the same year, Lakadiv Minikoi and Amindvi Islands were renamed Lakshadweep in 1992. The Union Territory of Delhi was redesignated as the National Capital Territory of Delhi without being conferred the status of a full-fledged state by the 69th Constitutional Amendment Act 1991. In 2006, Uttaranchal was renamed as Uttarakhand. In the same year, Pondicherry was renamed as Puducherry. In 2011, Odisha was renamed as Odisha. Territory of Indian India in 2019 states Andhra Pradesh, Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Bihar, Chhattisgarh, Goa, Gujarat, Haryana, Himachal Pradesh, Jharkhand, Karnataka, Kerala, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland, Odisha, Punjab, Rajasthan, Sikkim, Tamil Nadu, Telangana, Tripura, Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal. Union Territories Andaman and Nicobar Islands, Chandigarh, Dadra and Nagar Haveli, Daman and Yu, Delhi, National Capital Territory, Jammu and Kashmir, Ladakh, Lakshadweep, Puducherry. Laws made by Parliament under Article 3 of the Constitution Acts and Provisions First, Assam, 
alteration of boundaries act 1951 provisions altered the boundaries of the state of assam by ceding a strip of territory comprised in the state to bhutan to andhra state act 1953 formed the first linguistic state known as the state of andhra by taking out the telugu speaking areas from the state of madras karnool was the capital of andhra state and the state high court was established at guntur three himachal pradesh and bilaspur new state act 1954 formed the new state of himachal pradesh by uniting the existing states of himachal pradesh and bilaspur four chandar nagore merger act 1954 merged the territory of um, chandar nagore a former enclave of a french india into the state of west bengal five state states reorganization act 1956 made the extensive changes in the boundaries of various states for the purpose of meeting the linguistic regional and local demands it created 14 states and six union territories the states were andhra pradesh assam bihar bombay jammu and kashmir kerala madhya pradesh madras mysore odisha punjab rajasthan uttar pradesh and west bengal the union territories were andaman and nicobar island delhi himachal pradesh lakadu minokoi and amenvi islands manipur and tripura it established the new states of kerala by merging the travancore cochin state with the malbar district of madras state and the kasargod of south kanara dakshin kannada it merged the telugu speaking areas of hyderabad state with the andhra state to create the andhra pradesh state further it merged the madhya bharat state vindhya pradesh state and bhopal state into the madhya pradesh state similarly it merged the saurashtra state and kutch state into that of the bombay state the kodak state into that of mysore state the patiala and east punjab states union pepsu into the into that of punjab state and the ajmer state into that of rajasthan state moreover it created the new union territory of lakadiv minikoi and amindvi islands from the territory detached from the madras state bihar and west bengal transfer of territories act 1956 provided for the transfer of certain territories from the state of bihar to the state of west bengal rajasthan and madhya pradesh transfer of territories act 1959 provided for the transfer of certain territories from the state of rajasthan to the state of madhya pradesh andhra pradesh and madras alteration of boundaries act 1959 provided for the alteration of boundaries of the state of um, andhra pradesh and madras bombay reorganization act 1960 formed the new state of gujarat 15th state by taking out the gujarat gujarati speaking areas from the state of bombay and renamed an other part of the bombay state as maharashtra maharashtra state the city of ahmedabad was made the capital of gujarat acquire territories merger act 1960 provisions provided for the merger into the states of assam punjab and west bengal of certain territories acquired from pakistan under the agreements entered into between and governments of india and pakistan in 1958 and 1959 state of nagaland act 1962 formed the new state of nagaland 16th state by taking out the naga hills tunsang area from the state of assam the naga hills tunsang area was a tribal area of assam specified in the 6th schedule of the constitution punjab reorganization act 1966 formed the new state of haryana 17th state by taking out the hindi speaking areas from the state of punjab it also made chandigarh a new union territory as well as a common capital for both punjab and haryana bihar and uttar pradesh alternation of boundaries act 1968 provided for the alteration of boundaries of the state of bihar and uttar pradesh andhra pradesh and mysore transfer of territory act 1968 provided for the transfer of certain territory from the state of mysore to the state of andhra pradesh madras state at alteration of name act 1968 changed the name of the state of madras to that of state of tamil nadu 
Assam Reorganization Meghalaya Act 1969 formed an autonomous state substate known as Meghalaya within the state of Assam State of Himachal Pradesh Act 1970 elevated the union territory of Himachal Pradesh to the status of a state 18th state Northeastern Areas Reorganization Act 1971 elevated the two union territories of Me- Manipur and Tripura to the status of states 19th state and 20th state respectively it also conferred full statehood on meghalaya 21st state which was previously a sub state within the state of assam further it formed the two union territories of mizoram and arunachal pradesh out of the territories of assam mysore state alteration of name act 1973 changed the name of the state of mysore to that of the state of karnataka lakdiv minikoy and amindvi islands alternation of name act 1978 changed the name of the union territory of the lakdiv minok minikoy and amindvi islands to that of the union territory of lakshadweep haryana and uttar pradesh alternation of boundaries act 1979 provided for the alteration of boundaries of the states of Haryana and Uttar Pradesh State of Mizoram Act 1986 elevated the union territory of Mizoram to the state status of a state 23rd state State of Arunachal Pradesh Act 1986 elevated the union territory of Arunachal Pradesh to the status of a state 24th state Goa Daman and Diu Reorganization Act 1987 formed the new state of goa 25th state by separating the territory of goa from the union territory of goa daman and diu madhya pradesh reorganization act 2000 formed the new state of chatisgarh 26th state out of the territories of the state of madhya pradesh and 26th state uttar pradesh reorganization act 2000 provisions created the new state of uttaranchal 27th state by carving out its territory from that of the territories of the state of uttar pradesh 27 bihar reorganization act 2000 established the new state of jharkhand 28th state by separating its territory from the territories of the state of bihar 20 uttaranchal alteration of name act 2006 changed the name of the state of uttaranchal to that of the state of uttarakhand 29th state pondicherry alteration of name act 2006 renamed the union territory of pondicherry as the union territory of puducherry 30 acts orissa alteration of name act 2011 changed the name of the state of orissa to that of the state of odisha 31 act number 31 andhra pradesh reorganization act 2014 formed the new state of telangana 29th state by carving out its territory from the territories of the state of andhra pradesh Act number 32 Jammu and Kashmir Reorganization Act 2019 bifurcated the erstwhile state of Jammu and Kashmir into two separate union territories namely the union territory of Jammu and Kashmir and the union territory of Ladakh Articles related to union and its territory at a glance Article number 1 subject matter name and territory of the union Article number 2 admission or establishment of new states Article number two A, Sikkim to be associated with the union repeal. Article number three, formation of new states and alterations of areas, boundaries or names of existing states. Article number four, laws made under Article two and three to provide for the amendment of the first and the fourth schedules and supplemental, incidental and consequential matters. notes and references till 2019 the erstwhile state of jammu and kashmir enjoyed a special position by virtue of article 370 of the indian constitution it ha- had its own separate state constitution added by the 18th constitutional amendment act of 1966 babulal versus state of bombay 1960 this information is downloaded from the website of ministry of law and justice legislative department government of india it had no chairman or convener by the bombay reorganization act 
by the Goa Damen and Hue Reorganization Act 1987, by the State of Nagaland Act 1962 with effect from December 1, 1963. by punjab reorganization act 1966 by the state of himachal pradesh act 1970 with effect from january 25 1971 by the north eastern areas reorganization act 1971 with effect from january 21 1972 by the state of mizoram act 1986 with effect from february 20 1987 by the state of arunachal pradesh act 1986 with effect from february 20 1987 by the goa tamen and dio reorganization act 1987 by the madhya pradesh reorganization act 2000 by the uttar pradesh reorganization act 2000 by the bihar reorganization act 2000 by the madras state alternation of name act 1968 with effect from january 14 1969 by the mysore state alternation of name act 1973 by the lakadeo minikoy and amindive islands alternation of name act 1973 with effect from february 1 1992 by the uttaranchal alternation of name act 2006 by the pondicherry alternation of name act 2006 by the orissa alternation of name act 2011 thank you